Hey guys, I'm in West Palm Beach area, Florida on a little holiday and it's a beautiful morning. So I wanted to just take a couple minutes to share an insight that's been developing in my work and personally with my clients for, uh, I don't know, a couple of weeks and it feels articulate enough to share with you. But of course, as always, I invite you to open up the conversation and co-create the insight and open up the depth with me. And that insight is the answer to how is yes. Often, I I know I work with creators, I work with coaches, passionate innovators who are trying to take some vision that they feel in their bodies and bring it to life in the world, but often it's something that doesn't exist yet. You know, it's either a completely new thing or it's their own version, their own innovation of something that already exists. You know, maybe it's an invention idea I have for a business and I bring it to life, or maybe I'm a coach and I don't want to do things the way I've been taught to do things, and so I want to put my own spin and innovate my experience. But how do you do that? How do you bring something that doesn't exist yet to life? There's no path to follow. There's no steps to take. You know, what do I do? How do I do that? And, and so what I've been sharing lately with my clients and with myself is the answer to how is yes. As an example, one of the areas that I find just in coaching and coaches who get super stuck is how do I turn connections into conversations that turn into invitations that turn into coaching conversations that turn into clients and this like there's a desire I think that's sort of innate in in people in general but high achievers perhaps specifically we don't want to get it wrong perfectionist kind of thinking or I need to understand all the steps and exactly how they work understand the learning before I actually get into action but that's the the problem with that is the learning and understanding comes from taking the action itself. So if I wait till I totally, totally understand on a cellular level the whole process before I get started, you're never going to, you never go, I don't want to say that. It's going to take a lot longer for you to get there because the understanding comes through the action, comes through the failure, comes from the reflection. And then you figure it out little by little, that worked, that didn't, that worked, that didn't. So I'm going to hone in and whittle down my understanding until I get how the process works. But the answer to how is by doing, by, by, by saying yes to something that you don't know what it is until you start doing it. You learn by doing, not by understanding. So I'm curious, like, what's going on for you that you're waiting and don't totally get how it works, or maybe you've tried it a handful of times and didn't get the result that you wanted. So now you're trying to figure out, okay, well, I don't know how to do it, so I'm going to step back from the action, learn a little bit more, and then get back into action. Don't do that. Stop the stopping. Dive back into the action and just act, reflect, act, reflect, act, reflect. And I'm going to invite you to follow up on my truth as a tool not a weapon video after this so you can see how to put that action and in, into understanding and back into action because often what we do is we get into the how we screw up and then we beat ourselves up for it that puts us back into i need to learn more so go back to the doing say yes to the how and be willing to dive into the trenches fail mess it up and start to figure it out through action not understanding The answer to how is yes. So what is that thing, that one thing that's in your mind right now that you know you're putting off because you don't know how to do it? And what's one action you can take today, even tiny, to help create that yes, that understanding to push you even further? All right, guys, I'm going to go hop on a boat and probably quite a few cocktails this afternoon. So (laughs) enjoy your day.